Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new user account form and Power Automate workflow to create a user and add them to a group in Microsoft 365. So I'm going to start here just looking at my admin center and just to show that I'm not uh, cheating. Here's my list of active users in my environment. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a SharePoint list. Um, I've created one over here, which we'll just have a look at the settings on this list. Essentially, if I go in here and view uh, test user here, Joe Bloggs, you'll see I've got a fields in here for the first name, surname, display name, email address, job title, the location, and some phone number details down here. You can extend this list, of course, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So once I've got my list set up, I then need to uh, add a workflow. So this workflow is triggered on when a new item is created on this list. Uh, so we have the when an item is created, I'm going to get the item. Then I'm using a little formula here to generate the password. Um, if you want to cheat, there is a nice little template from Microsoft that they provide, which includes uh, these first uh, this, this step here for the creating a password using a random string. And you'll see there's a formula over here just using the UTC time to calculate a random number. Um, I've decided to put an approval step into my workflow. So this approval is going to send an approval to uh, get the user account set up to the manager. Um, you could specify who that is and add some additional logic in here if you wished. Um, once approved, the workflow is going to then generate our user account using these intra ID actions within Power Automate. So there's a number of different intra ID actions, but the two that I'm interested in are the create user and the add a user. And at the end of the process, I'm just going to send an email with the password details back to the person who requested this in the first place. But while we're here, we might just have a quick drill in. If I go and add an action and then in here type in intra, you'll, you'll get intra ID and you'll see the different actions that we can apply to um, use, use with an intra ID, including creating a group, uh, adding people to a security group, um, getting members of a group, um, and also removing a person from a group or updating an existing user. So if the person's uh, job changed or perhaps they got uh, married and their, um, their name changed or, or uh, the location changed, for example, those things can be changed uh, using these actions. But we're not going to use that today. So what I will do now is I've just run this uh, earlier um, and created a user already. So just for the purposes of making a new one, we'll go into here and we'll create a new, new person. And we'll call this uh, person here um, Jane, and her last name is Smith. Um, we're going to create a display name of Jane Smith. Um, I'm just going to give Jane an email address of Jane at Steve Knutson dot on Microsoft whoops, dot com. Um, Jane is going to be um, the CEO. Uh, her location is going to be uh, Christchurch. And I'm going to give her an office phone number of um, 03123456 and a mobile number of 027234123245. And once I've done that, I'm going to submit the account. And that will create the item in the list. Um, now all you have to do is wait for the workflow to run. So that workflow will run away in the background here. So we'll go over to here and have a quick look at what's going on inside my uh, my workflow here. A few extra steps that we could add in here. We could have, for example, a pick list to let you pick the groups. But while we're waiting for this workflow to run, I just want to show you the group action down here. So under this add user to a group action, you'll see that it requires two values. The ID of the per user, which we get from the created up here, and also the ID of the group. So if I go over into my, um, act, over into my uh, active groups list, here and then choose the group that I want to add to. In this case, it's my demo team group. I get that ID from the URL at the top up here. So I just grab that URL, uh, that number minus the slash. So I just want to grab that part of the URL, that the end part. And that is the ID of the group that I'm going to add the person to. So I use that ID here. So if I wanted to add to additional groups, so I just add additional steps in with those IDs. You could make a lookup to, to do a lookup on this. Um, just for the purposes of this, this testing, though, that's where I get the ID from. So, so my workflow should be running away. So if we go back and have a look at the um, out of there, and I'm just going to not save that setting. Look at my running workflow down here. 
we should see that it's sitting here waiting for an approval. Um, so I'm just going to look in my approvals in Power Automate. Of course, it's going to send an email or send it to Teams as well. I'm just going to approve the user creation and go confirm. I'll go back over to my flows. My new user creation flow here. You'll see it's completed. If we look at that flow, you'll see that it succeeded. It was accepted and it's gone down this path here and created the user account. I've just realized I didn't save the send email action which I added just before this video, um, which is probably why it was complaining, but um, never mind, you'll, you'll get the idea. Um, so if I go back over into my into Active Directory, so my, into my users and users over here, I can see I've now got a user called Jane Smith um, added in here. And you'll see if I click onto Jane, it's got a few details about Jane in here. And also, if I go over to my active groups and users, and if I go and look at my demo team, this one here, under membership, look at my members, you'll see that Jane has been added here as well. So nice and easy, quite straightforward process to create a user account. Um, to set this workflow up, if you want to begin, you can actually start as a Microsoft provided template. So when you go into Power Automate, if you just search for the templates for Entra, and you'll find a short version of this workflow without the approvals and so on, that you can use to get yourself started. Um, and of course, if you look at the Entra uh, actions and um, uh, under the uh, Entra uh, under the Entra actions, you can see there's a whole lot of different things that you could do to extend this workflow. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, if it is, please. Um, like my channel and subscribe. I'd appreciate that and um, share the news with someone else. Thanks very much.